Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. We have a fun one today, and a very, very highly requested one, possibly my most highly requested recently, because a lot of you guys have, like, singular skeins laying around your room, and you don't know what to do with them, because you only have one skein. So you're like, girl, give me project ideas I can do without going over one skein, okay? Because I only have one skein of this. So if you are struggling, because you just have single skeins of one color somewhere, and you're like, I need to do something with this, but I can't get another skein, so I need one skein projects, I'm here for you. Today's video is 50 one skein crochet ideas. So for this video, we have six categories. We've got decor, stuffed animals, functional stuff, clothing, accessories, and bag. As a reminder, before we jump right into the first category, everything I said will be linked in the description box below in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever I'm showing you on the screen, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into the decor category, which is usually my favorite category. So for decor, we have this jellyfish okay add some jellyfish to your room add some jellyfish to your kids room you only need one color shown here adorable so you can also make a plant hanger or multiple plant hangers depending on how big that skein is you can make some cute you can make a set of bear coasters you can make this crochet jewelry hanger which is my tutorial by the way and yes there are two colors but if you only have one skein, you can make the whole project with one skein. Just use that as the outline color, okay? Super cute. Speaking of, I've seen you guys make this and tag me on Instagram. And I've been posting it on my story when I see it. And I love that you guys are using my tutorial. So thank you. Okay, I love it. And I've seen people do it without the outline color. And it's just as gorgeous. So do it. Um, you can also make a heart coaster set or even like a star pillow just to toss on a bed or couch, okay? You can also make a jewelry organizer like this one where you just kind of make a panel of however much yarn you have and then put a frame around it. Perfect. You can prop it up. You can hang it up. It's very, you know, flexible. You can also make a fruit hammock for your room or for your room. Girl, please. I made a fruit hammock for my room to hold yarn. It's over there. I'll post a picture of it or something or I'll show you, but you can make a fruit hammock, whether it's for your room to hold yarn or for a kitchen to hold actual fruit, you can make a fruit hammock. And that's all I have for decor, so let's jump into stuffed animals. Now, a majority of amigurumi is like you can do it with one skein, but I purposefully picked things that are all one color. So like a lot of amigurumi, you need like white and blue and you need like different colors. So if I just found some amigurumi that are small definitely a skein or less and one singular color and it'll still look good so you can make these clouds adorable you can make small potato or even the pickle okay you can make a little elephant i love the elephant you can make a snake and this one's fun because however much yarn you have on your skein left you can make that the snake that long so that's kind of cool um you can make a capybara or even just a, you know, plain old dinosaur. Can't go wrong with a dinosaur. And I wanted to toss this one in here. This one is the Coraline Squid. And I tossed it in here just because you can make it with one skein. And um, I've done it before. So, like, I can attest to the fact that you can make this pattern with one skein. If you are wanting to make it and all you have is this color, you can make it. So, that's all I have for stuffed animals. Let's get into the functional crochet category. So basically things that like have a purpose other than just looking cute. So you can make a dish towel, obviously. That one's a go-to. You can make these like fun pop protectors. My mom bought a set of these, but I could have crocheted them. So like crochet your mom some. She probably doesn't even know she needs them. So make some for her. You can um, make a storage hammock for yarn, for stuffed animals, okay, multiple things. You can make these bobble stitch hot pads. This one's fun because it uses a lot of yarn. You can still make one with a skein, but it kind of gets, if you're trying to get rid of a color, you're like, girl, I don't know what the fuck to do with this color, okay? Give me something to do with it. Make a hot pad, a bobble stitch one, because it'll just eat that yarn up, you know? Bobble stitch is like, if you've done a bobble stitch before, it's basically like five double crochets in one spot 
every single time, pretty much. So, it's, like, it gets a lot of your yarn. So, that one's a good stitch to get rid of yarn. But, um, you can also make a little organizer basket or even, like, a phone stand. I'm actually going to make this because I need something to put my phone on. Um, you can also make some Swiffer, like, covers, and you could even make a bag saver. You can also make a little Flexagon fidget toy or even these bowl warmers. I love these, okay? Still have yet to make them. They're on my list. They're on my list, okay? But they're so cool. My mom bought one that was, like, sewn, um, and that was really cool. So, I think I'm going to crochet one. But that is all I have for functional items. Let's jump into the clothing category. You're probably thinking, Paige, what? You can make clothing with one skein? Yeah, if you want a lot of skin showing, you can make clothing with one skein. So, for this category, we have this really cute bandeau that's like bunched in the front. You can even make a bandeau that's not bunched like this one or kind of make a bandeau but add some straps to it. You can make a halter straps or like normal straps. You can make a little ruffle skirt or even like literally any bolero. Okay, the shorter, the more likely you can get it done and under a skein, obviously, but boleros are a good way to go if you're trying to get rid of a skein. That's all I have for clothing, so let's go into the accessory category. For the accessories, we've got, obviously, a one skein infinity scarf. Bring them back. Bring them back, okay? You know, I've actually been seeing early, like, 2015, 2014 trends slowly rising from the dead, okay? And I love it. Bring it back, please. Bring it back. I was, like, 13 when all this was going on, 13, 14. I was, like, entering high school. Bring it back. Bring back scene kids. Bring back the 1975 bring back tumblr bring it all back please bring it all back bring it all back including the millennial infinity scarf okay so one skein infinity scarf you can make any cat beanie you can make with one skein okay i have several cat beanie tutorials on my channel you can make it with one skein and still have leftover you could honestly i've made two with one skein so Make a little matching set for you and your bestie. You can also make a froggy bucket hat or literally just any bucket hat. You can make a bow for your hair. You can make this one skein balaclava. You can make some leg warmers that kind of flare out at the bottom. You can make a twisted ear warmer or leg warmers that don't flare out at the bottom like these ones. You can make little like boot cuffs if you don't want like full leg warmers. You can make this balaclava or even like a bandana or some little simple fingerless gloves also. That's all I have for accessories, so let's jump into the bag category. For bags, you can make this little pouch. It can hold whatever you want. I have the hiccups. Let me live. I have the hiccups. I'm gonna have so many cuts because I have the hiccups. You can make this star stitch wallet or even this laptop cover. You can make a French market bag, especially if you get the uh, sugar and cream cones have one of those you can make a market bag and like literally use the whole cone um you can make a one bag one skein bag like this one or even some cute little like sunglass holders or a chunky kind of shoulder bag like this one and that is all i have for you for our 50 one skein crochet projects okay hopefully you're able to find something to make if not comment down below if there's another category you want me to do that i haven't done before and as always, everything I said is listed in the description box in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial um, so that you can make whatever I'm showing you. If you're looking for the picture I showed you with the direct like picture link, um, here's the Pinterest board. It will also be linked down below. Sometimes the Pinterest links take you to those like sketchy B crochet videos that like aren't actually tutorials. Um, from the Pinterest. So, I find the actual tutorial and I put that in the description. So, check there first. But if you're just looking for a picture, it's on the Pinterest board. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content and you want to see more from me. Okay? Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. We've come, we've come so far in such little time. So, thank you for supporting me. If you want to be part of the January giveaway, last month in December, we gave away a knitting machine. So, this January giveaway, it hasn't been decided what I'm giving away yet. But if you want to be a part of it, go follow me over on Instagram to kind of make sure you're you're there when I post it because it's going to be over on Instagram when I announce what the giveaway is and how to enter and all that. So, go over there, follow me over there. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye!